Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing very, very well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and insight. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, for the awareness for the week. Okay, we start with temperance, major arcana. And temperance is a card of integration. It's a card of finding the right blend of the aspects of your life, your physical state, your mental state, emotional state, spirituality, everything, and making it all fit together nicely. Temperance is about doing things moderately, not going to extremes, not overdoing it, not tilting toward one side or the other, but really trying to look for the middle ground. You can see that the angel here is pouring the cup, the water's flowing from cup to cup, and uh, dipping a toe in the water, and then there's a toe on earth. And again, it's the connection between the physical and the spiritual sense. So... This is a week for you to pay attention to your diet, to your rest and relaxation, and to the energies that you put out there. Don't overdo it. You know, give yourself a time to reflect and to rest and to let things get back to an equilibrium that works best for you to have your peace of mind. And you know, with temperance, we often think about listening to our guides and our angels. Like the universe kind of has uh, some say in the matter. And the say is in the matter is towards your, your physical and your spiritual state. So work on balance for the week as an awareness. Another awareness is the Eight of Wands. So you see the wands are either being hurtled in the air or they're coming down to earth. This can represent projects um, coming to a close and then perhaps new ones beginning, but it really goes to, to the activity within life of being active, of having a lot on your plate. This is a week where you may feel very busy, uh, where you may have to make decisions quickly. You may have to have a response ready. Often with the eight of wands, we're thinking about communication of text messages, letters, e uh, you know, emails, phone calls, communicating with others, making decisions, having discussions, offerings, opportunities coming your way, or simply receiving news. There may be an offer coming to you. It could be a relationship offer. It could be dating, or it could be an offer related to a business proposal or a business plan. So be aware of where while you're feeling so busy and active with a lot going on, where there's movement, things are moving forward, you might feel the pace picking up. Don't forget balance and don't forget temperance and equilibrium. So we have, in terms of guidance, we have two major arcana cards. We have the death card. So the death card can be very scary for some, and it really shouldn't be scary. As long as we have the understanding that in life, there's a natural course. Living things live and then they die. And the seasons will always be changing. And, you know, sometimes... Things, relationships, jobs, projects are meant to end. They are over. We let them die. And this could be a way of thinking. So if there's been a situation in your life that is not 
been um, beneficial to you, then it's time to let that situation, that situation um, die its natural death. Why? Because it gives you the opportunity for something else to come into play. And so whether this is moving away, um, looking for a new job, leaving behind a relationship, exiting from a toxic friendship, death, it's going to happen and it's clearing the way for something good to come in its place. It doesn't mean it's not going to be hard or or you know, or pleasant, it certainly may not be, but it's just something that you have to realize that we process this, we acknowledge it, and then we move on. And then we, we add this to our book of life, our experiences. With this death card, we have another major arcana card of justice. And justice goes about toward equality and fair play of doing the right thing of making decisions that go to being honest and having integrity. So perhaps there was a relationship or a situation career-wise where things were not that fair and you need to let it go in order for you to move forward. This is the scales of justice here and the sword, decisive sword, making decisions that are fair, that are based on information and real data versus hearsay or gossip. So in guidance, let whatever has not been working for you, let it die. And remember to make the decisions that are truthful to you, that are honest and that represent in your life of doing the right thing. I think that people know inherently uh, when things are unfair, you feel it, you feel the stress. So deal with this in your best way of being fair, uh, evaluating it for its merits, and then moving on. Okay, so in terms of possible outcomes... We have two nine cards. This nine card here, nine of pentacles, it's about a successful independent person who is probably um, put in the sacrifice, put in the time and the energy and the focus in order to gain this comfortable lifestyle and also build in some time for fun. You can see the grapes, the pentacles, the privacy of the garden, the life and often maybe she's single, maybe she's a solo practitioner on her own doing it her way, her way and she trusts her own guidance. Sometimes there's risk involved with this. When you follow your own path, when you sacrifice, when you do things your way, there can be a great reward and here's the reward of being comfortable having the lifestyle that you want, but there's also the possibility of having situations that you have to deal with that are stressful. The Nine of Swords, it's about anxiety. It's about the things that keep us up at night, being stressed out, feeling anxious, maybe guilty. So getting through these things of balance and dealing with letting something go, maybe it causes some sleepless nights. Maybe there's some moments where you're feeling like, oh my God, how am I ever going to get out of this? But you will. When you focus on doing the right thing, when you focus on all the talents and the skills that you have, and if you can count your blessings, you know, one step at a time, then you can start to move away from this. This is not a permanent situation. This is a temporary situation where you're feeling anxious or worried or upset. You will get through this. So let's see what we have in terms of uh, information from the Oracle cards. And I would consider this card as an affirmation for the week.
in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. So eventually in the flow will happen. If you can work on temperance, if you can focus on temperance, if you can focus on doing what's right for you, following the path that's your path, then ultimately I think that in the flow, everything will start to flow from there. This is a card for healing. And I feel that uh, many people would benefit, I think, from a sense of healing. Career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So again, it goes to news and opportunities, communication, letting something go, perhaps, in order to transition to something better, the right move for you. There may be, of course, there's going to be worry. Whenever we transition, we, have, we can uh, have a little stress pop in. And finally, let's... See what we have for a message for love. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So how committed you are, what you're willing to give, what you're willing to offer, what you're willing to receive. Consider where you are and how you can apply that to the love that you have within your life. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share this video, and comment below. I wish you a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.